Hey everyone, Mr. Stamkos here, and before we start this video, I want to thank everyone for a thousand views on my newest video. It hasn't even been 12 hours on my Dale Howard Chuck highlight reel video, and it already has over a thousand views. That is insane for me personally, because I have less than 80 subscribers, first of all. It's just amazing to get that kind of support, so I'm so happy, and thank, thank you all. I can't express how happy I am about that with my hippie hair and all that. But the, I did post a poll on my Instagram, I'm just going to sit down. I did post a poll on my Instagram for Askarov or Holtz, and I do have the votes right here. So, um, if I can get it here. As you can see, um, Askarov has six votes and Holtz has one. And I didn't, you know, do this. So, we're going to trade down to pick number 10, and we're going to take Yaroslav Askarov in this episode. So let me just get my ugly face out of the way and we can begin this video. So yeah, here we go, everyone. Okay, here we are, everyone. And we are here at the draft. And again, thank you all for that amazing, amazing view total on that video. That is my highest ever blown out of the water. Blew the JT Miller video out of the water. And it's not even been half a day yet. So I'm so excited to see where that video will go in a week. Maybe we can hit 10,000 views on that bad boy. That would be awesome. But, um, as you know, um, what we are going to do in this draft, I know what we're going to do in this draft. So we're going to go to the draft board here and look for pick 10. It is New Jersey, and I can't pick here. I can't press this button, but we're going to send the user. Lafreniere, Stutzel, and Byfield went, so, um, Raymond? Oh, there's Raymond. I still can't press on this. Okay, guys, I'm going to come right back and uh, see what's happened here. Okay, everyone. Um, so it appears that I can't really um, trade the pick away like I was hoping. So I guess we're just going to be taking Yaroslav Askarov at pick four here. I hate to do this and lose some value, but, you know, we have to do it. You know what the people want. Um, six votes to one, so, um, and also I'm going to give a shout out to NHL Prospect Board, um, recently followed me, a really great prospect, uh, Instagram page, so I recommend going to follow them, um, so yeah, Lafreniere, Byfield, Raymond, Askarov, pretty weird top four there, but, um, yep, let's sim to my next pick, 44th overall, um, Holtz went 11th to the Rangers, no surprise there, honestly. Um, Tyson Forster went kind of high. Yon Meshack went really low. Jeez. Um, anyone really out of the ordinary? Not really. So with this pick, um, I'm honestly thinking of going with Daniel Torgerson. He's a very solid um, right-wing prospect out of Sweden. He's kind of like a watered-down Holtz. Doesn't have the goal-scoring ability. But he still is a good goal scorer. Um, maybe Luke Evangelista from the Knights. Um, Brandon Bryson, Pavel Novak, Martin Kromiak. Um, or we can even go with a guy like Lucas Cormier. Um, he's pretty damn solid. Uh, I don't know here. I'm thinking I'm going to go with Daniel Torgerson here. He's actually very solid, low top six. So, let's go up to my 62. And Alex Cotton is available. Wow. That's hard to pass up on. I love myself some Alex Cotton. Um, geez. Oh, there's... Is that Ilya Briz... It's Igor Brizgalov. All right. He actually looks really good, too, though. Um, what's my next pick? 63 and 69. It looks like we may just miss out on him, but if with my 69, I might take him. So I'll take Alex Cotton here at 62, because he is amazing. 70 overall, offensive defenseman, low top four. I love Alex Cotton. Oh, shiz. We just got Efimov. I did not want him. But uh, we're going to take Brizgalov here. High backup, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, just for the goalie prospect, too, honestly. Um, go to my pick. We got Enstrom. We got Person. 
Um, Eric Kirsten doesn't look horrible. Um, Cross Henaz is a low top six or a low top nine. Um, Tyson Smolanic. Jan Bednar, I know he's a poor starter potential. Um, Oliver Sunny. Mr. Hosa. I'm thinking of Michael Benning here. Get a, another good defenseman. Or should we go with the center, maybe? Or even the right wing in uh, Smolanich. Um, yeah, I'm thinking uh, Ty Smolanich here. Honestly, get that left wing. And he is medium top nine. Sim to my next pick, 106. And I'm going to take... Uh, who looks better caught? Zoltok. Uh, I'm going to take Zoltok here. Uh, fourth line, I'm okay with that. Personally, it's whatever. We're in the hundreds now, so we're not going to be getting amazing picks. Um, Hakana. He actually looks pretty solid. A Oh my lord, we just got an elite top six potential with pick 125. So you know how Dylan Larkin's high top six, right? This guy's even better than that potential-wise. That is amazing. Wow. Is there any more of those elite potentials here? There's highs, but no elites. Well, that's a nice uh, surprise, pleasant one. Right wing as well. So we kind of got ourselves another Alexander Holtz. Um... Barely watered down Alexander Holtz, actually, hacking Hakana. Um, here, I'm going to go with the Russian. Balmoklalakla. Oh, yeah, he's gone now. Um, honestly, I'm not too opposed to loading up on goalies. High minor, that's not bad, personally. He might become like a third string for us. Um, Leighton, Yelonen, Oslo. I think I'm going to go Ivan Holinka here. I think that's his name. Low depth, that's not great. And with our last pick, I'm going to go with Dullberg. Hey, medium top six potential, I'll take that. So that's going to be the draft, and I think we definitely came out with some really solid players there. Some players that are really going to help the future. For this Red Wings team. Um, so let's get to signing. So Anthony Manth is an RFA. And I like what he brings to the table. Defensive wise. Offensive wise. He can be a consistent 40 goal scorer. I do like him on the second line. But I don't know if I like him for that much. Um, honestly I'm leaning towards a 5 year. Got a bit of money off. And... Bertuzzi we're definitely bringing back. He's going to be one of the future wingers on this team. I'm going to bring him on a five-year. We're at 2.625. And Robbie Fabry was also one of the best players on the team this year. So I'm going to bring him in with a three-year. We're at 2.18. Sam Gagne, um, I don't really know. I don't think we're going to bring Gagne back. Um, Brennan Perlini, we're going to bring back for sure. Three years at 750. Um, Trevor Daly, we're not bringing back. Adam Ernie, I think he played really well for us personally, so. I'm going to sign him to a three year for sure. And then Zvechnikov, he played well for us as well. Um, I'm just going to give him that four year straight up here. We have so much money, it's not even funny. Taro, he's definitely coming back. I'll say on a three year. Madison Bow, we can come back. Whether it's the sixth or the seventh. Rodrigo will. Definitely be coming back. Um, I signed him to a one year. I liked what I saw. So now he's going to get a full ass contract for me. I'll give him a two year this time. Just because I don't know if we're going to be using him past that. Jonathan Erickson. Alex Biega. I like Alex Biega. 
I think he brings a good amount of stuff to the table. Good amount of depth. Christopher N. Bring him in. Golubev, Pumple. Um. Um. Anyone else? If you're talking in the background too, guys, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, Pavel Frankuz. Oh yeah, he's the big fish. Um, three years. Wow, he does not want a lot for a starter. But I'll sign him to a two-year. I'll give him a realistic amount. $1.5 million. I'm not about to scam my boy Pavel out of a contract. I'm going to save right here, too, because it usually crashes during the resign phase. I've learned that in the past, so I'm not going to take the risk with it. And Askarov. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think we're going to sign him this year, personally. Same with Hakana. He is 20 already, actually, too, so... We could potentially use him as trade bait if he doesn't work out. And then I'm going to bring in Turjan. But not Wood. Actually, no, I'll bring in Wood as well. I got nothing to lose bringing in Wood. So Keith Wood. And what's Erickson want? Oh, he wants, like, nothing. And, um, I think that's good, because I don't want Clark MacArthur. I'll get Matt Pumple as well. On a two-year. And, yeah, that's it. That's all the contracts I want to make. Um, yeah. That is about it. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully everyone resigns, but I'm not too sure. If anyone even wants to play in a tray next season. Everyone accepted. Nice. Um, so I'm actually happy with that. And yeah, so let's, I guess, move on here. And then I'm going to just take a look at the free agency list to see what there is there. And then we can make some executive decisions. Executive. Ooh, I can't speak. Decisions. Um, after this video, I'll maybe do another Instagram poll if there's a big debate whether who I should sign or blah blah blah. Um, but also something I want to do is I want to go to. Oh, I can't even go. Oh, I can go to trade. Trade. And wow, Hakan is way up there in value. That's sick. If we go to my goalies, we got. Askarov. But one thing I want to ask you guys is should I trade away Jonathan Bernier? I was going to save this for the end of the video, but now that we're in free agency, we're going to take a look here. Okay, Sergeyev done maroon the normals, right? But if we go to goalies, should we um, trade Jonathan Bernier and sign a guy like, um, I don't know, Spencer Martin? Who's a low starter potential. He can be a third string. We can play Calvin Picard as the backup. Actually, I like Michael Hutchinson. What would you guys say about flipping Bernier, signing Hutchinson, and then running Frank Kuz as a starter? So basically, the poll on Instagram will be, would you rather have Bernier or Frank Kuz as your starter? So that'll be the discussion, but... Um, doesn't really look like there's anyone I want to sign here, honestly. Maybe Rodko Gudas. Um, good shutdown defenseman. He has a championship, too. for On Washington. Yeah, he played for Washington. Forgot. So, Rodko Gudas is the guy I want to sign. Um, so, I'll leave those two up to you. Um, so, I'm going to do two polls tomorrow. One... Would you rather have Bernier or Frank Kuz as the starter? Or, and, um, if, if Frank Kuz comes out on top, I'm just going to trade away Bernier and we'll, we'll run Hutchinson as the backup. And the second poll will, will be, um, should we sign Gudas? But, um, there's one thing I want to do. I want to look at potential here. Because, yeah, Ian Mitchell. This is the guy I want to see. Low top four. 
21 years old, right-handed defenseman from the Blackhawks. He's like their best prospect right now, man. So I'm going to give him a real fair offer. 895 to Ian Mitchell. He's a great two-way defenseman. So I'm hoping we can bring him in. And also Nikita Sherbach. I'm hoping we can bring in on a three-year deal for some depth at 765. And um, that is actually... Oh, wait, no, there's one more. Julius Bergman. Um, these are guys that are always going to be available here. Unless someone snags them, which I don't think they will. But we're just going to grab them for some good depth um, and all that. So, yeah, I guess that's um, it for this video. Again, thank you for the support on um, the Howard Chuck highlight video. I can't wait to see where my channel goes with that video. Maybe we can hit 100 subs, which would be a dream come true for me. Um, and maybe I can actually get into some different kind of hockey videos like highlight reels and stuff. But just take into consideration, that's the first video I ever edited in my life. With this, I just go like this and just pause the screen and come back. And, and I'm in the prospect board, so it's obviously pretty easy just to do this, like pressing a button. It's not editing at all. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, if you did, smash the like button, subscribe, you know, all the stuff that everyone tells you to do. Um, I'm going to be the same way. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, check me out on Instagram. Answer the polls if you enjoy this series. Um, and I will come back to you tomorrow with the next episode of Detroit Wet Red Wings GM Mode. But for now, bye.